Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting Adobe Audition tutorial and in this tutorial uh, we are going to learn about the levels of volume and amplitude and how you can adjust them. So <laughs> uh, once you put some video or clip or audio file into your multi track session then you need to you know add some file adjust their volumes and levels. Okay. Now there are a number of ways of doing this. First of all, if I double click on it, it takes me back to the waveform and here I can of course adjust its volume. Look at this uh, waveform and if you go to all multi track station, it has been updated and changed also. In here there is amplitude or volume level has gone down significantly. But you don't want to do it like this way because doing any change in the waveform is destructive and you don't, that is not preferred. Now, as we can go back and as you can see, our amplitude level is returned to the normal levels. Now, <laughs> there is other ways of doing this. And one thing you should uh, uh, be familiar or you should uh, be able to tell the difference between is that that the adder volume control over here which is at negative 70 which is very low at the moment and set uh, it in my previous session if i zero it okay this does not control the volume of this clear it controls the volume of the entire track now there could be more than one clip signal if i cut this track in few parts and then move them apart and just think of these as different clips taken from different music or stuff whatever and they all have different volume levels okay and if we increase the dv level of <coughs> the entire <coughs> Check by 4.4 it increases relevant to their already volume on the individual clips in here by 5.4 so it does not increase the volume of the clip it increases the volume of the entire track and all the clips in it the volume of the clip and the volume of the air the track then both combine to give you the final output it's a combination of these things of course you can also control the volume from down here in the master clip you can increase it or decrease it depending on your need once it has been set in this thing if these thing volumes are set then alternative and in additionally this could be altered from here in the master clip later on the same goes for the mixer if in this mixer Suppose I drop its video to a lot, I'll get negative 56 or 0.8. As you can see in here, the error of the track it is also dropped or to negative 56.8, just like it is in the mixer. So you can control its volume here by using this fade slider, which is the whole part of the mixer. Okay, so that's with the you know. Mm. with the bars and volume controls and scrubbing ideas the other best way of controlling volume is and most people use it is this envelope envelope here does not mean the thing that you put letters in envelope refers to these lines this line the yellow line that i hope you are saying and is visible on your water letter screen and then this gray or little light bluish color this is for pen if you have your mobile mouse over it and what pen means is this control over here of course that it moves your sound or concentrates the intensity of the left speaker and the right speaker, right speaker. and it is using the stereo or surround sounds you know environment where your output is not in a mono channel but it is in a stereo channel to the left channel and to the right channel so you can specify the talk okay, the sound or the volume or amplitude level of the left should be 100 percent and the right should be low and then you can also say that the right should be 100 percent and the volume of the or the amplitude of the left should be zero that can be controlled with this line the other yellow line if you over your mouse over it cursor mouse cursor over it it says volume now by dragging this up and down you control the volume of the 
clip. Now the old track, the track volume is controlled from here. It controls this. Let me play the track and I will move the line and you can hear the difference. As you can see, the volume has gone down and now it's gone up. Okay, oh, okay. I double clicked it accidentally and we went into the waveform. We don't want that. Okay, I'm gonna re uh, return this to the normal level. The other thing you can do is if you hover over this and drag it and click, uh, click and drag it, um, uh, then you can move the line and adjust the DV level and that in that small uh, pop-up, uh, you know, uh, bracket, triangle, rectangle actually, um, uh, tells you about the DVs, that how much DVs you have changed in it. But if you just click to once, quick click, it does not hold the line, it makes a keyframes on it. And then click again, another keyframe, another keyframe. Now the benefit of keyframing in audio track is that all the clips you can make specification that at this level the amplitude should be high and this level you should drop off you know over time that's what you can do in here let me play this at this point and you can tell the difference that okay the area is gone at this the volume is up and then it drops off suddenly and quickly okay let's play it as you can see the volume is dropping down so in this manner you can control let me bring that up with here it's increasing again with this keyframing technique you can control the amplitude level over the course of a period or the course of time that once it should drop and then it should increase if there is unwanted or necessary noise but you do not want to remove it with other techniques of audio view audition you can also reduce them with the keyframing or stuff like that or for example a uh, two person and the pain control also works the same way you know if uh, two persons are speaking and they are having an interview and one microphone is towards the uh, anchor or the tv showman or the other is towards the guest once one speaks you want the volume to be directed the, to the in point of the left microphone then you want it to be directed towards the uh, right microphone so that's how you can use these lines these are why they call envelopes in the terminology of the Adobe Audition and you can make these sort of volume and level adjustments. That's it guys with for this tutorial I would hope to see you in the next tutorial in which I will talk to you about some more controls and neat features of Adobe Audition. Until next time I bid you farewell and good luck.